Here in Central Park, we've got about six inches of the fresh, fluffy snow. The winds were blowing, making it feel like it was sub zero, but this is nothing compared to what so much of the nation feeling this morning. Look at some of the numbers. Boston now well over a foot of snow just north and west of Boston. They had two feet or so and in Chicago, well over a foot in a lot of the suburbs and a foot even at O'Hare Midway really close. And then of course the numbers even in Delaware, very high and this storm. The next question, when is it pulling away? It is pulling away very quickly here, but we have to check in where some of the windiest conditions were. Cohasset, Massachusetts, we find Ron Claiborne. Hey there, Ginger. I'm in really what is the epicenter of this nor'easter, the hardest hit area in terms of wind and snow. I think we're looking at about maybe a foot, 15 inches, maybe more of snow. Wind gusts recorded just a couple of miles away from here of 55 miles an hour. And look out here. This is an inlet. Uh, just eight, 10 hours ago, it was flowing water. It is now frozen over, looking like some of those scenes we've seen out of Antarctica this week. The uh, snow is now abating, so is the wind, but it's been a rough, rough ride overnight. Nor'easter nightmare. Overnight, the mammoth winter storm exploding all the way from Pennsylvania to Maine. Freezing blizzard-like conditions, winds howling at up to 35 miles an hour. Snow falling in some areas at a rate of one inch every hour, causing a sloshy mess for drivers. I'm going sideways even in four-wheel drive. You got to take it easy. Boston hit hard overnight with about a foot of heavy snow. Schools and even the state government shut down. So much snow there, streets transformed into ski slopes. And a frigid farewell to Boston's longtime mayor, Tom Menino, stepping down from office after 20 years. I guess Mother Nature wanted to give me one more gift. New York City slammed overnight with about six inches of snow and still falling. Governor Cuomo issuing a state of emergency, urging people to stay off the streets. In coastal Massachusetts, flood warnings as freezing waves crash into homes. You'll see water probably coming up over the top of here into the parking lot. And as far south as North Carolina, it wasn't heavy snow, but icy roads that sent this car sliding onto its side. The chilling storm already ripping through states like Indiana and Michigan, creating chaos on roadways. Even snow clouds couldn't escape freezing. Conditions still uh, pretty bad here, very cold, but it's going to get a lot colder. The temperature expected to plunge uh, later today, going on to the minus single digits and wind chills even colder. Ginger, back to you. Ron, thank you. You know, so much improvement on the way, but it is not going to be clean on the rails or on the roads. And for a traffic update and so much else, we go to WABC's Lisa Caligrassi. She is in Ronkonkoma, New York. That is Long Island. They had some rough winds there overnight, too, 30 to 35 miles per hour. Lisa? Still experiencing blizzard-like conditions out here on Long Island. The wind is blowing and the snow continues to pile up about eight inches out here in Ronkonkoma. Now, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo took a preemptive strike against this storm, shutting down major highways at midnight. The Long Island Expressway shut down, no cars allowed on it. They wanted the plows to be able to get there plow the roads with no obstructions, no other vehicles on the road. They are urging people to use mass transit. The Long Island Railroad operating on a weekend schedule, limited service, but the roads are simply too treacherous. They're asking if people can stay home to do so.